Good afternoon, folks. I was going to get out that special video on how big of a problem the Earth's weakening magnetic field and magnetic pole shift is for us, but we've got more space weather on the way to Earth. This morning's long-duration M-class solar flare lasted for several hours, and the CME it created was very wide, extremely wide. And if you can see the coronal shockwave ripple here coming towards the Earth-facing longitudes of the Sun, it won't be surprising that when you look at the coronagraph images of the blast, it appears that it actually is wide enough that there is an Earth-directed component. While it should be a glancing blow, we can say this one is visible all around the central blocking disk on the coronagraph, so we've got impact expected from this one in the coming days. That'll likely be the 15th or the 16th. The blast has also reignited the proton storm. The polar radiation levels are once again elevated as those particles surge along the interplanetary magnetic field. We of course have several other active regions that we are watching, but most of them are still in development and remain both smaller and less active than that big one departing now. So while we watch for their development, enjoy a day or two of space weather quiet and geospace, and then we've got more impacts coming. Likely solar storm levels will be minor to moderate, but we should get some more auroral activity, especially at higher latitudes. I'll try to do that special magnetic pole shift video for tomorrow afternoon. Subscribe and I will see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.